the new app offers these busy New Yorkers a dog walker on demand. And with the push of a button, it allows tracking and communication. According to the sub spotting app, the queue line is the best line to take if you want to send a text. But if you're on the R, cell phone service is obsolete. The study estimates 165 million plastic particles are floating in the city's waterways. That's why the anti-littering campaign urges New Yorkers to recycle plastic materials and bring reusable bags to the grocery store. Believe it or not, when it comes to fake handbags in Chinatown, the less expensive Tory Burch and Michael Kors are taking over. It makes it you know, hard to be a tourist here. She's referring to costume characters in Times Square, appealing for the kids, but not so much for the adults when these characters want to be paid for the pictures they take with the kids. I feel like my hands are tied. I have to give them something, and that bothers me a little bit. But not everyone feels pressured by these characters. Some we spoke to say as long as they're respectful, they don't mind. As long as they're not being forceful, I think it's fine if they want to, you know, ask people to give something for the time. One tourist tells us a city in Europe handles a situation like this differently. You know, in Paris is a little bit different. I think they had more of their like little setup where people just like threw money in there. I think that's a little bit more comfortable. What about those who wear the costumes? How do they feel? First of all, we go for tips and they, some people, some other characters like to charge, but uh, that's illegal because uh, in, my, in my case, I don't want to get in trouble. That's what uh, I I asked for tips. The Times Square Alliance has added a task force in order to watch costume characters or anyone else to make sure everyone's following the rules. In Times Square, I'm Cassie Sherm. <coughs> Looking for a home, these dogs at Animal Haven in Chinatown are available for adoption and they're getting assistance from someone you might not expect. It was great to see her work with the dogs and capture such beautiful pictures of all of our animals. Sophie Gaymond is a New York City photographer who has chosen to feature unique pictures of shelter dogs to not only bring awareness to the situation, but return to them their dignity. You know, there's been a couple of adopters who came in that um, actually adopted from us that would say, oh, I saw this photo of that I want to meet. You know, I fell in love with the photo. Oh, I think absolutely. It just um, gives a name and a really cute face and look to these dogs and they get out there and they get tons of attention. So I think it's made a huge difference. And this is Peabody. His siblings were adopted thanks to Sophie's pictures. Her Pitbull Flower Power campaign has been wonderful and um, a lot of our pit puppies and pit adults have been adopted from people seeing her pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So she's done great work for the animals. You may not want to try this at home. It's probably best to leave it to the professionals. And then just actually trying to get a photo of an adolescent dog who's always hopping around, um, that's something that could be very trying. So, But she makes it look really easy. If a picture says a thousand words, then these shelter pets should have a home in no time. In Chinatown, I'm Cassie Sherman.